Mickey B, and you're on the Jukebox Review, this time not Tuesday night, but Sunday afternoon on a snowy day in New York City. So possibly when you see this show, you'll be watching it live. Sometimes you may be seeing it three months from now, four months. doesn't make a difference. Who cares about the climate? Right now it's beautiful inside, and we've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, Paul Laurenti is uh, not with us today. His uh, grandfather is ill, and we wish him the very, very best. And uh, Paul will be joining us back again next week. Frankie D is down in sunny Florida wearing his, uh, I don't know what he wears, about a 42 box of bathing suit. So he's on his surfboard, I guess, down there. And I'm in here. We're going to be talking about the year of 1962 and some great rock and roll music and a show that we also called Magic Moments. Why do I call it Magic Moments? Because I have one of the greatest magicians in the history of magic with me today. Been on my show many times, Mr. Bill White. Bill, always a pleasure to see you. Same here, Mickey. It's a great thing. Magic. I love magic. And, and we talk about it all the time. Uh, so many people are into I, Me, I love it. I love to watch when you do these different kinds of hand tricks. I love uh, all of the magicians. Um, and I never want to know the answer to the magic because I want to be thrilled by the moment. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You started uh, when you were a kid, right? Yes. How old? Seven. Seven years old? Yeah. My father and my grandfather both dabbled in it. Yeah. And I started dabbling in it. Uh -huh. Once it started working, that's what I started doing for a living. Do you ever stop? I mean, there's, there's, I guess there's new tricks every day. Am I right? Yep. Well, the old tricks, they just compound on it, and, and they make new stuff out of it. Yeah. I the mean, stuff that I do is so old that it's new. <laughs> I mean, is there, is there something like um, there's always a new joke? There's always something. I mean, is there new magic? I mean... It, does something come up and all of a sudden it's a different kind of lock, a different kind of card game, a different... Does that happen? Not too often, but... Not too there's, often. There's so much stuff out there, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So when we talk about magic, we always see the magical card game or the magical trick. Who's the person who invented these tricks? There's a ton of them. There's, there, there's so many guys out there. Some of the guys out there, that's all they do for a living is just invent tricks. Really? Yep. Now, have you ever come up with your own magical trick? Yes. You did? Yes. And what would that be called? The needle through the arm. The needle through the arm yep. trick? Really? Yep. You, did you have, you have that with you today? I don't have it with me today. Thank God, because I would maybe be fainting <laughs> on the floor. I'm not used to seeing blood falling all day on, on the ground. But anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to go back to the year of 1962 with some great, great songs that came out. I, at the time, was recording with, uh, with Paul Simon. You know, I was 15 and a half years old, uh, and we did some songs. And I always remember some of these favorites coming up on the radio. One of the ones I happened to love was a great summertime song. You remember the man by the name of Freddie Boom Boom Cannon? Yeah, he was great. Freddie came from uh, Lynn, Massachusetts, and uh, he did Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. And you know, he holds the record for being on American Bandstand. The most. The most times. That would be like over 110. 110 times at American Bandstand. Yep. And the amazing thing about it was, never changed his shorts. It's, uh, <laughs> he always had, they had the record for the most shorts that time. You know, you talk about 100 times. Do you know that in the year 1962, Wilt Chamberlain broke the record for the most points on a basketball game? 100 in the year of 1962. Yep. Nobody's ever beat that yet. Nope, never. Yeah, just amazing. Well, anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to a place that I performed with Tico and Triance on a stage at Palisades Park. And I'll never forget it. Somebody showed me a picture where there's plaid stamps in the background, which was one of the sponsors <laughs> at that time. I don't know when it, when it went out, plaid stamps, but that was what it was. Wow. So you all set to hop on the roller coaster? I'm ready. Here's Freddie Boom Boom Cannon. Yeah. 
All right, we're back here again, not at Palisades Park, we're at Madhouse TV. If those people out there that are watching now, tell all your friends to tune in because this is our first Sunday afternoon. We start at 4 o'clock. We were a little bit late today because the snow was coming down. We run from 4 to 5 every Sunday. You'll have great clips of rock and roll history. Some great artists will be singing on stage. You never know who's going to be calling in. And you never know that you got a guy by the name of Bill White that does some fantastic magic. Bill, I am all set for some kind of trick of some sort. You got it. What do you want to do? We're going to do something with two cards. Two cards. Yep. Okay. The Just king, two cards, not three cards. Okay. Two cards. The king of hearts and the four of spades. Can I see it? You take the four of spades. Okay, sure. I'm going to take the king of hearts. Should I hold it up to the camera? Not yet? And I'm going to take it, I'm going to fold it face in the long way. Okay. I want you to take that card and fold it face in the short way. Uh, when you say face in the short way, take it this way and bend it this way? Correct. Okay, so I'm going to bend the, the four of spades. Okay, you can see the four of spades there? Okay. And I'm going to fold it in. Give it a good crease. Okay, a good crease. Okay. And now, Mickey, I'm going to take your card and put it inside my card, leaving a tunnel. Okay. And if I turn it over, it's going to become a magical tunnel. Watch. Why don't you make sure you get close-ups on these cards, please? Yeah. If I push it through, it turns face out. Look at that. And if you push it through the other way, it turns face in. That's unbelievable. <laughs> One way is face out, and the other way is face in. And here's the interesting part. Watch close. Half of it is facing one way, half of it is facing the other way. That's all I have in my hands. Right. And you could keep that as a souvenir. Did you see that? Did everybody catch that trick? I mean, is that unbelievable? Unbelievable. You have more tricks than anybody. It's mm. just amazing. I love it. I have... Quite a bit. You have something interesting coming up. Let's talk about it. The Memorari <coughs> that's going to happen. You've got a magical show that's happening. What date is that going yes, to be? Yes, uh, March 20th. March 20th? The, the International Brotherhood of Magicians in 244, the Frank Garcia Ring. Uh -huh. It's our 36th anniversary. And we're having a dinner magic show. Oh, that's fantastic. It's, from, it's, March, it's Friday, March 20th, from 7 to 12, uh, open bar. Okay. Uh, cocktail hour, buffet, close-up magic at all the tables. And then the 45-minute stage show. How do people get tickets? <clears throat> uh, there's two numbers you can call. All right. Uh, one is Chris Ward at 914-960-6842. And the other one is Jeff Miller, 631-689-5601. And if you missed that number, we'll be giving that number a couple of times uh, tonight. <clears throat> it's going to be so a great wanna, show. I'll see the show. You're fabulous. I love magic. Well, anyway, we'll talk about the year in 1962, a year when... Uh, Glenn, what was Glenn's first name, the uh, astronaut? John. John Glenn, that's right. He was almost like John Kenny and John Glenn. He made his first orbit around, around the Earth at that particular time. Yep. So great year. But also what was happening was a lady by the name of Darlene Love, okay? Darlene comes out with a song. Actually, she becomes part of a group called the Crystals. Now, everybody knew the Crystals as Lila Brooks and Dee Dee uh, Kennebrew and, and the rest of the girls. And Darlene was singing with a group called The Blossoms. But what happened was, Phil Spector loved them so much, he wanted them to become the singers on the session. And How he old was she? Darlene at that time had to be about 17, 16, 17 years old. And what had happened was, the Crystals were afraid to fly to California. So he used Darlene and The Blossoms, who were in California, and called them The Crystals. They thought they were the Brooklyn group, but it really wasn't them. It was a whole different group. Well, Darlene does this song everywhere she goes, whether it be at Patrick Theater or other places. Let's watch her on stage in the current times. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Darlene Love. Watch the way he shuffles his feet. My holds his head up high when he goes walking by. He's my guy. <laughs> and he holds my hand, I'm so proud. Cause he's not just one of the crowd. My baby's always the one to try the things they've never done. Just because of that.
Darlene Love right there. What a great song. I love that song. He's a rebel and I'm never going to be. She did a patchwork theater with me, just outrageous, and, of course, backed up at that time by uh, Lenny Coco's orchestra. And they did a fantastic job. They really did a great job on it. So you like that kind of music. Oh, yeah, I love it. So it was all those great songs she did. And she was with Bobby Sox and the Blue Jeans and Darlene Love and the Blossoms. And she backed up so many great, she backed up all the Phil Spector stuff. I mean, the Righteous Brothers on songs. Uh, she did uh, everybody and anybody on the whole West Coast. The Monster Mash, Boris Pickett. We'll talk about him later on because he also had something in 1962. And you were, how old were you in 62? <clears throat> 18. 18. Do you know that Jackie Robinson in 1962 was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame? Really? Wasn't that great? Jackie Robinson, what a tough life he went through at kidding. that time, huh? And, uh, and today, thank God everybody's involved in baseball today. It's, it's not, uh, you know, today it's black, whites, Hispanics. The money Jews, they were making Italians. then compared yeah. to the money they're making today. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, uh, you took a guy like Mickey Mantle, made $100,000. He would have been making about $50 million <clears> They said to Mickey Mantle, what would you say to the boss if you were playing today? He'd say, he said, hello, partner. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. We don't want part of the Yankees. I wonder what Derek Jeter's going to do now that he's out of baseball. You know, a lot of people say he wants to own a baseball team or something. We're going to find out, you know, probably soon. Who knows? Right? Yeah, he was good. But meanwhile, what I want to do is, because I love magic, I want to make sure I get another magic uh, trick in before we go to a break. So what can you do for me magically right now? How about money? Uh, you want to give me money? I'll, I'll do the jokes. you do the jokes. <laughs> right. What are we going to do with money? Well, I'll show you. Okay. This is everybody's favorite trick. I have one, two, three, four, five one dollar bills. Right. One, two, three, five one dollar bills. Okay. Now, Mickey, see the ones over here? Yes. They're called pips. 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 Okay. Keep your eye on the pips because it's going to happen that quick. Look. Wow. One, two, three, four, five one hundred dollar bills. One, two, three, five one hundred dollar bills. Five one hundred dollars. My bills. wife's favorite trick. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> so that went from one dollar bill to a hundred dollar bill just by you turning it around. Do that in my house every day. That is unbelievable. It's just amazing. Mr. Bill White. And Bill, do you head the uh, association still of uh, magicians? Sorry? Are you still the head of the uh, association yes. of magicians? Yes. In the New York metropolitan area? Yes. Really? Wow, that's great. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll do a little bit more magic later on. We got more from the year 1962. Hang in. Don't go away. You're on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. Now, every Sunday from 4 o'clock to 5, right here on MadhouseTV.com. We'll be right back after this. My name is Dr. Robert Brevar. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff. We treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. Vast array of diagnostic testing, from X-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained.
you find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. We're back live right here on MadhouseTV.com. I'm Mickey B's Jukebox Review, Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. New time schedule, so tell all your friends that were watching us on Tuesday nights that we're now on Sunday afternoons. Got Bill White here, uh, magician, and of course, a dear friend. And you know, one of the things I love about you, Bill, is that when it comes to charities that we're all involved in, you're always there helping raise money for, for children and seniors and, and people with magic. So do you. Yeah. Well, Got to give back. That's what it's about, yep, you know? you ain't kidding. You know, uh, 62 was a great year. Who do you think won the World Series in 1962? Hmm. Should I tell you? Yeah. The New York Yankees. And I'll never forget the game ended, I think, with Bobby Richardson catching the ball at second base because they beat the San Francisco Giants four games to three in that year. That was the days the Yankees were really winning all those World Series games, you know? Some great stuff was happening. But also, 62, we were talking about the blockade that President Kennedy put on Cuba at the time. And it was a very scary situation at that time. And you were stationed, I think, in the service, right? Yes, I was Where stationed were... in Alaska. You were in Alaska at that time? <coughs> yep. What was uh, happening? Fort, you... Fort Richardson. What was going on? You were close to Russia. Yeah, we went on red alert when, uh, when Kennedy told Khrushchev to turn those ships around. Right. <coughs> and... Uh, Missiles opened, the mountains opened up, the missiles came out and pointed towards Russia. Where you are? Yep. Well, that'd be yeah, we were protecting uh, Almendorf Air Force Base up there, Strategic Air Command. Unbelievable. And today you got Sarah Palin's up there. <laughs> <laughs> right? What a difference between you were there and now Sarah Palin was there. See? Big difference. But anyway, uh, thank God nothing happened that time. You ain't kidding. We were all frightened. We were kids. I was 15 and a half years old. You were serving. You were about 17, I guess. Maybe. 18. 18 years old at that time. So... It was a scary situation. That happened twice. Yeah. Once when he told Khrushchev to turn them around. Uh -huh. The other time is when he got shot. Yeah. Unbelievable. But I'll tell you what was happening in music at the time. Chubby Checker had come out with a song called The Twist. You know, that went the number one in 61, 1960 and 61. And really was banned in all the Catholic churches. They really? thought it really, yeah, it was almost like Elvis Presley because he was moving around and twisting. But they didn't really like the, the twist itself. But anyway, it went on. It went on to be a hit two times. In 62, he meets up with a studio girl named Dee Dee Sharp. And he asked her to come in on a record that they were doing called Slow Twisted. And the song came out and went all the way to the top of the charts. Well, here's Chubby Checker later on, only a couple of years back, with Dee Dee Sharp on the stage doing Slow Twisted. Watch this.
Chubby Check and Dee Dee's Shop, only about two years ago, Slow Twisted, and a song that came out in the year of, of course, 1962. Now, what happens is, I meet Chubby Checker, and I'm talking to Chubby Checker, and Chubby Checker says to me, you know, I would love to do that song in your style. So watch what Chubby did. Look at this. Let's do it. Yeah, I love that kind of sound right there. How did that look, eh? I didn't know. I thought you were brothers. You thought we were brothers, right? <laughs> did a good job on that one, huh? <laughs> Dee Dee Sharp said to me, she only sang that song with Chubby Checker. Never did it with anybody else but me. Really? And we did that about uh, probably just uh, right after uh, she did that with Chubby Checker, B.B. King. She was with me at, uh, at Patrick Theater. And you have it on tape. And we got it on tape. We got it right there. I love the song. I love that whole thing. You know, talk about the great things. I love magic. And you're here. Bill White is here. Of course, Bill is the... President of the uh, uh, Magic Association of International Warcraft? Brotherhood of Magicians. International Brotherhood of Magicians. International, that's the whole country. I didn't know that, Bill. I thought it was just a metropolitan area. No, no, of the International Brotherhood of Magicians. I'm the, t I'm the president of Long Island. Of Long Island. And I'm also the territorial vice president for the International Brotherhood. That's fantastic. Who were some of the guys that you love to watch? I mean, <coughs> David Copperfield. Yeah, he's great. Uh, back then, Siegfried and Roy. Yeah. Uh... Chris Angel came from, uh, from East, out here. East Meadows. From out here. Uh, there's a lot of good guys out there. There's young guys, up and comers that are coming up that are really good. Too. Yeah, that's great. I love it. How about another trick? Give me another trick. Sure. How about ropes? Ropes? Ropes. What do you want to do? Tie me up? Nah. Okay. Do I have to stand? No, you can stay. I can stay? Okay. Seven years old, I learned this trick. Okay, let me see it. Long rope. One rope. I want you to check it out. Make sure it's one solid rope. Make sure there's no rubber bands, chewing gum, trap doors, hidden compartments, or river springs. Okay. Let me take a look here. Give it a good tug. Is that one solid rope? Say yes. Yes, it is. Let me have it. Yes, it is. Yeah. One rope. Mick? Yep. Medium-sized rope. Give it a good tug. Make sure it's one solid rope. Medium-sized yes. rope right here. Yes. Solid. That's it. 
ropette. A ropette, a small rope. This big, very small. Okay. Seven years old, went to the magic shop. I bought this trick, went home in front of the mirror. This is what it said to do. It said, Bill, because it's my name. Okay. It said, take the short rope and hold it in your left hand. They did it in front of the mirror. Right. It said, take the medium-sized rope, put it right next to the short rope, leaving the long rope, which goes next to the medium-sized rope. Okay. It said, look on the top, and you see the ends are pretty close to even. Right. Not so on the bottom. Right. It said, take the short rope, bring that end up, do the same with the medium-sized rope. Do the same with the long rope, which now means all the ends are even, but the ropes are three different sizes. Correct. It said, snap your finger, give it a tug, and all the ropes will become the same size. You see there's one, there's two, and there's three equal size ropes. That's unbelievable. Now, the problem with this trick is tomorrow I'm going to do a show. Yes. And as soon as I get there, everybody always says, hey, Bill, do the rope trick. The only way to do that again is by starting with a short rope, a medium-sized rope, and a long <laughs> rope. It's like That's magic. unbelievable. Unbelievable with Bill White, and don't forget, Bill White will be part of that uh, fantastic show that's coming up at the Memorari. Bill, tell us about it again, so I wonder sure. how people can get tickets to go <coughs> uh, Friday, March 20th, mm -hmm. uh, 7 to 12, at the Memorari, Knights of Columbus, in Jackson Avenue in Seaford. Uh, cocktail hour, from, uh, it's a cocktail hour, a buffet, close-up magic, and a stage show, open bar. And how do people get tickets? Is there a telephone number? Yep, there's two numbers. Uh, Chris Ward, 914-960-6842. Or Jeff Miller, 631-689-5601. Just amazing. Don't miss out on a magical <coughs> show. It's, it's just fabulous, of course. They've got great, talented musicians there. and You don't see it too often around the area, so catch it, okay? This is knock your socks off kind of stuff. Well, that's what I have. I have no socks on now, so I'm already prepared <laughs> for it. Anyway, what we're going to do is come back. we got the year of 1962 right here on Mickey B's Jukebox for you. More great songs, more history of the year. Uh, hang in. Don't go away. Tell everybody we're right here at Madhouse TV every Sunday afternoon, 4 to 5, on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. We'll be right back. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. We're going to do a live commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie. I'm the uh, president of Language of Love Incorporated Foundation. I'm really happy um, to tell you that we're going to be doing a Language of Love telethon on March 29, 2015 from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please look for uh, the location on my, um, my website, ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. And once again, it's ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. And the show um, will be on, hosted on the Madhouse TV. It really is important for you to um, be aware of strokes and aphasia. Strokes is the third leading cause of death in, the, in America and the first leading cause of disability. And it really is something that plays no favoritism. And it also really comes when you're not expecting. Nobody expects to have a stroke and nobody expects to suffer from aphasia. And it really does play a huge, make a huge impact in your life and change your life in one split second. So we look forward to having everyone join us uh, once again on March 29, 2015 from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. And you can follow us on uh, ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. Once again, it's ReneeMarieLanguageOfLove.org. And we look forward to seeing you. God bless. We're going to do a live commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This is me, TMC, and the place to be, the greatest MC in history. There will never be an MC greater than me. And right about now, the only place for you to be is with the one, the only, 
Right here with Mickey B, Sunday afternoon in New York, snowing. You know, this, this show can air, of course, it's airing right now. But then you may see it again three months from now, a year from now. And also, we just want you to make sure that when Mickey B is on the summer and I tell you it's snowing, it's okay. You can still watch the show, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, Bill White? That's we don't right. care. Matter of fact, you have dark hair, but you walked in and you got a great there you from, go. <laughs> from the snow today. That's what it's all it's about. It's out there. You know, some of the songs I, I loved were, you know, when I was a kid back there in 1962, I always listened to some songs. One of the songs that came up, was by a group uh, that this guy was with called the Duques. And he went on to become, uh, of course, he was Eugene Dixon, became the Duke of Earl. And when I listened to the song, people were telling me that the song really went to number one because of airplay. They loved the song. And as you played the song, even if sales weren't doing that well, between sales and airplay, it drove the song all the way to the top of the charts. That's what happened with the song. Uh, Dee Dee Sharp always used to tell me that, uh, that the Duke of Earl used to come to her house always looking for a date. They were good friends, but she never went out with him for some reason, you know? He's a great performer. Oh, tremendous. Not only doing the Duke of Earl, but all the other songs that he did. Oh, yeah. No, he's great. And I uh, always loved it with the top hat and the cane and the whole thing. But recently, uh, the clip that you're going to see now is on the PBS special, and backing him up is a great group called Pure Gold. They're one of the best groups out there in the business. They back up all the groups on these, on these shows. And when I play it on radio and I'm listening to the live version of the Duke of Earl with Pure Gold, they have it so close to the original that you say to yourself, gee, it sounds like the original group on, on the record. So let's do it right now. Here's the Duke of Earl himself, Mr. Eugene Dixon, walking down that aisle with that high hat and the cane and the cape, the whole deal. Take a look at it. It's my pleasure to introduce to you my good friend, Mr. Gene Chandler, the Duke of all. <laughs> Nothing can stop to cover And you, you are my girl And no one can hurt you Oh, no. yes, sir, I Sound Alive today are Johnny Maestro and the Brooklyn...
Ah, Mr. Jerry Butler right there. I love Jerry Butler. He's what a great. great guy, right? And it did, for your precious, precious love. love. Oh, man, what a great song that one was. We had with Bill White, Bill White, magician. Uh, you do so many great tricks there, Bill. You know, and all these, all these shows, I take a look at this, it's like a trick and a half here watching this kind of stuff because we go back in time on the Mickey B. Jukebox Review. That's right. You know, we see all these great shows. And uh, one of, uh, you know, we were talking before about 1962 when the New York Yankees beat the uh, San Francisco Giants, you know. And the player of the year was Mickey Mantle at that time. And like our dear friend over here, Tommy Ma, was telling us that Mantle and Maris the year before, that was it. That's 56 home runs and 61 home runs. And it was just going back and forth. And I think the Yankees had the most homers in, of any team that year and, of course, won the World Series. Interesting, in uh, football, the New York Giants were involved in the same year. So we had two New York teams, but they were beaten by the Packers in 62. Yeah, yeah on that one, you know. There was a, a young lady that had a, a great song that came out. And uh, nobody even knew who she was because she didn't have a lot of hit records. Her name was Ketty, Ketty Lester. And she had love letters straight from your heart. Watch this. Love letters straight from your heart. Keep us so near while apart. I'm not alone in the night when I can have. the name that you sign and all and then I'll rub, 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 rub. Oh. we're back live We're back right here. Of course, Kenny Lester, Love Letter Straight From Your Heart. 1962 is the year. Where were you in 62? Huh? How old were you? Were you 15, 15 and a half, 16, 17 years old? Well, those were great years, man. I love those years. You know, going down, doing a little dancing, doing a little romancing, uh, making love in the backseat of the car. Usually, was, uh, I couldn't go in the front seat of the car. I didn't even own a car, you know? <laughs> But uh, you remember those days, Bill White. Yep. I mean, you were stationed up there with some seals and stuff, so you couldn't make any love at all up there. <laughs> you know, but uh, I want to do another trick. I want to do it before we take a break. I want to do another trick. Sure. But what I'd like to do this time is bring in somebody uh, besides myself, okay? Okay. Tommy Marr, who has his own show here, of course, and uh, uh, is here at Madhouse all the time. He's, uh, right now he's behind the cameras. And when I ask him if he could step forward, an owner of Madhouse TV, of course, with Tom Mealy. You, you want to take a look at this, uh, Tommy? Sure. Uh, and do it. Are you going to be on camera? I'm Are you? going to be right on that camera there. Okay, I want, to, I want you to look at this right thing. Thanks to this cozy fire here. Okay, if you uh, could get Tommy Marr on this, because I, I want to watch this too as you do this. <coughs> we got us all right there. 
Okay, again. Before I left my house, I said to myself, self, take out the cards. Tommy, I took out the cards. I went through the cards, and I put one card upside down in this deck. Right. Put it back in the box. It's been in my back pocket almost two hours. Okay. There's 52 cards in a deck of cards. I want you to name anyone you want. Anyone. Out loud? Yeah. Jack of Spades. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Zoom in on this, please. Zoom in on this man's hands now. Any reason why you said the Jack of Spades? Not really. As he's zooming in here, we're watching... One card the... is upside down in his stack. Mm -hmm. Jack of Spades. All right? <laughs> Jack of Spades. Hold that up. Hold that up to the camera there. Uh, I don't know if they can see it there, Tommy Mar. You want yeah, to jump back? Can, can they see it? Did you? Now you picked your card, right? I picked the card. You didn't do nothing I with this man. You never touched nothing. How Everyone can this man? It. How can this man pick out that card that you I said? I know, but I want to bring him to Vegas with me. Is that unbelievable? <laughs> All right, I told you, right? That's why I wanted you to come in, so That's nobody good. thought that I was a working with this man on this. Oh, I know. I've seen him. He's amazing. Okay. Amazing. So, amazing. so what I'm going to do right Thank now, you. before you go Great. back there, Tommy yes. Marr, yes. I'm going to take a little uh, commercial message. When we come back, we got more songs from 1962, more from Bill White. You're on ManhouseTV.com with Mickey B on Mickey B's Jukebox Review. Hang in. We'll be right back. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Do dogs chase cats? GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. I am 
Tom Vealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. I am Tom Mealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. I am Tom Mealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. I am Tom Mealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV.
the Four Seasons, and I really hope you enjoy the, the music from the year of 1962. Before we say goodbye, uh, we'd like to have Bill White give us uh, one more magical trick. Can we do that, Bill? Sure. What would you like to do this time? Okay, I have five playing cards. I like everybody to pick up their hand. I'm going to show you the five cards. Okay, can I see them? Okay. Concentrate on one card. All right. Got it? Yep. If your card is missing from here, put your hand down. And everybody's card is gone? Everybody's card is gone. Everybody's card it's is like gone. like magic. Well, we're going to make it like magic, too. Bill White, <laughs> always a pleasure seeing you. Congratulations. Good luck on the uh, Memorari show. Thank you. It was That's a pleasure March being here. March the 20th? March 20th. March 20th. March 20th. Give 20th Friday one more time, night. give them a telephone number where they could get that. Uh, Chris Ward, 914-960-6842. Or Jeff Miller, 631-689-5601. I hope you enjoyed today's show, uh, Music and Memories and Magic, and of course, the year of 1962. Next week, we'll be back here at 4 o'clock with Paul Aranti. Frankie D's down in Florida relaxing in that sun, and of course, we're down here in the snowy weather, but who cares? We're having fun right here at MadhouseTV.com with Mickey B's Jukebox Review. Until the next time, God bless all of you. So long, everybody.